in Mandeville um, uh, at a, an event um, put on by the National Helmet Wearing Coalition, um, supported by the Jamaica National Foundation and also the Federal International Automobile Association. We are here also the president of the Jamaica um, Motorcycle Association, um, Mr. Mr. Marlon Fletcher, uh, better known as Cutter. I won't tell you why they call it Cutter. <laughs> eh? um, but today is a very significant day. We're here in Jamaica. Kind of another um, key part in this initiative is the Jamaica Constabulary Force. And I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the JCF um, to thank all the organizers for this today's event and for assisting us so significantly in helping to reduce road fatalities and carnages on our roads. I must say that the data showing we are we are having a reduction, slight reduction of 13% over last year, but let us not take comfort in that because the numbers are still way too high. We have so far 320 um, deaths on our roads, um, uh, result, which is 47 less deaths than it was last year. Um, notwithstanding the reduction, we are, have not met the targets that we have set. And so we are pushing very hard to stop the deaths. Um, you would have been following our, our information on our social media page regarding um, our statistics with, regarding um, major crime. So we are seeing a significant reduction in major crime, particularly murder and shooting. And so we're trying to save the lives of Jamaicans. We're trying to save the lives of Jamaicans. And we're doing well, getting good cooperation from the citizens and excellent support um, from the general public. But the lives that we're, save, we're saving um, through homicide, we're seeing lives, too many lives being lost on our roadways. And so we ask, we, this initiative here, we ask um, persons who use the roadway to exercise care, courtesy on the road. And sometimes some of the bad and poor decisions that you make, others suffer as a result. Others suffer as a result. All right? And so, so the slogan we're going to have going into this festive season is let us arrive alive in 2025. All right? Let us wear our helmets. The, start, the data is showing over 30% of the road fatalities are motorcyclists. And over 90% of those who have died driving a motorcycle um, were not wearing helmets. And so we don't know how many lives we would have saved in wearing their helmets. So we encourage everyone. One, it's, a, it's a wonderful sport. All right. um, that's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> not only is it a sport, an excellent sport, a real um, activity that helps you to relax, but also it, it develops your agility. And if you do look at studies that speak about motorcycle driving, it helps um, your mental acuity and all of that. But not only that, it is an excellent means of transportation. All right? If you notice how vibrant our food delivery and delivery services are with motorcycles, and these are persons who are honest, decent, working people, you know, trying to make an income. However, we have some among us that tarnish the, 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 um, tarnish the whole motorcycle riding uh, thing. Not only use motorcycles to commit crime, but sometimes are a nuisance on the road. And so I want to ask you, once you make bad decisions and endanger yourself, first and foremost, you also endanger other more, uh, road users. Sometimes just the mere activity of trying to avoid um, some ridiculous um, maneuver on the road. Uh, vehicles who try to avoid themselves um, meet an accident. And so we're going to encourage everyone, let us go into this festive season um, responsibly. Let us enjoy the season and let us arrive in 2025 alive. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you.